Let's start off just with some credentials, if you're not sure. Two Premier League titles, 2003-2004, unbeaten champions of England, two FA Cups, 189 appearances for the Gunners, 62 goals, 79 appearances for France. Was it 14 goals? Yes, 14, yes. Is it not bad? That was pretty good, I think. I think, I would yeah, take I think. that as a career, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, Robert, thanks for making time for us. I know it's been a whirlwind stop. Um, what has brought you to South Africa? So, yeah, good, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, it's a, such a pleasure to, uh, to be here. This is my second time in uh, South Africa. First time I was in uh, uh, Cape Town for, uh, for Arsenal. So today I'm, uh, I'm here with, uh, with you, with the big uh, Betway family. So we watched uh, yesterday night the Champions League game against uh, Inter Milan. Everybody knows the bad result because we lost uh, one nil. So, <laughs> so the wake up was uh, yeah difficult this morning, and uh, yeah I'm very happy to be to be here and to yeah to talk with the the, the people and of course especially with the Arsenal fans. I've got to ask you, have you enjoyed your time here in, in South Africa so far? Yes, of course, but uh, you know, uh, maybe I need more uh, more time to uh, to visiting uh, Joburg. I know it's a big, big uh, city. Um, I, uh, I want to try the the, the real food. Uh, I know it'll be sometimes it's a little bit uh, spicy, but uh, yeah, for me the most important, you know, when I when I when I'm here, for example, it's to uh, spend a good time, especially with the uh, with the people, with the, the media, like yesterday. Like today with you, with the uh, uh, yeah, I repeat the Betway, uh, Betway family. So um, yeah, I need uh, more time next. Uh, yeah, next time. I'm sure our CEO Lawrence will uh, have lunch for you after, so you can <laughs> yeah, try some good um, food. Yeah, um, I want to try the real. The real food? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Shisanyama and that's. I don't know. <laughs> but it's spicy or not? It can be. Ah, it can be. Okay. Yeah, it can okay. be. But I'm ready. You're gonna have to come back. Okay. Yeah, but I, I need I need to come back and more with more more time. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if many people realize the last time Arsenal played Inter Milan at the San Siro, 21 <laughs> years ago, Robbie scored in the 5-1 win. Yes, I mean, that was, yes, exactly. they could have done with you last night, you know. I mean, what did you make of the performance? But, uh, well, you know, it was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we won, yeah, we won 1-5 against uh, Inter Milan. Uh, I don't know because you know it's always very difficult to compare you know players, the manager or, or tactic. Um, on my time, yeah, it was maybe uh, different. The players maybe is different, so that's why it's complicated for me to uh, to compare. Uh, on my time, yeah, it was uh, yeah the team was uh, amazing. Uh, the manager was uh, unbelievable. Uh, it was for me, he was and is a genius, Arsene Wenger. But about yesterday, yeah, it was difficult uh, because maybe we lost the last game in the Premier League against uh, Newcastle. So maybe we need to uh, to be more focused on the on the, the next game. Uh, so we lost yesterday. Uh, next game is a big, big game. It's a derby in mm. London against uh, against uh, Chelsea. So yeah, they need to uh, yeah need to uh, to yeah to prepare the the game. It's, I know it's not uh, not easy. Mm. Um. What was it like at the Betway watch party with the South African Arsenal fans and being able to connect with them at Coppers? That must have been special. Well, it's always special because uh, this is uh, the connection, for example, be between you and... Uh, and okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good, a very good connection. Um, okay. <laughs> I think it's a good connection, no? I think it's a good connection. <laughs> <laughs> between you and, uh, and Arsenal, so that's why I'm here. Uh, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just wait for that. To be no, no, sorted. don't worry. Uh, and yeah, it's, today it's me. Maybe the next time I will be a next uh, next ambassador because I'm I'm still involved with Arsenal. I'm ambassador, uh, so I do lot lot of events uh, like uh, like today. And I, I repeat, uh, for me, it's uh, yeah. It's a pleasure to, uh, to spend this uh, great time with, uh, with you. Let's talk about the league. Arsenal falling behind at the moment. Liverpool have been outstanding. Yes. Um, do you think Arsenal can sort of find a way back into that title race? I mean, it's a quality squad, quality manager. 
Yes, of course. Uh, but you know, uh, I think since uh, three season now, we can um, we can uh, uh, beat and we can fight with uh, with Man City and uh, and Liverpool. Uh, unfortunately, last uh, last season we are very close to uh, to leave the trophy. Um, but for this, you need maybe to be a more uh, more regular um, because we lost, the, the, for example, the, the game against Aston Villa at home at the Emirates, and the difference is like this between Man City and um, and Arsenal. But um, if you, I don't know, but if you compare the players on City, Liverpool, and um, and Arsenal, I think the quality on the squad is very uh, is very good. We have a very good player like. A, the guard, uh, Bukayo Saka, uh, the goalkeeper, uh, the connection, uh, Saliba, uh, Gabriel. So now you, maybe we need to be more consistent. And I know, I know it's very difficult because the Premier League is, you know, it's very, uh, it's very difficult, but uh, it's very tough. It's not only when you play against City, Chelsea or Liverpool or Tottenham, it's the house out team. And when you play against house or team, you need to win this game. So that's why the difference, for example, between Liverpool, Man City and, uh, and Arsenal today. Chelsea's next. Um, yeah, big game, yes. Big game. How yes. do you see that one going? Because it is, as you said, a derby, uh, and yeah. that's always has a special feeling to it. Well, it's, a, it's uh, well, I think it will be a great, uh, great game. Uh, this is the, the other, yeah, as a derby. But the big derby, you know, in London for us is against uh, Spurs. Um, but this one is, uh, yeah, is special because normally when when you start the the season, Chelsea or Arsenal, the target is the same. It's to try to leave the trophy at the end of the of the season. Um, Chelsea and maybe they have on the good um, good moment because they are on the good road. Uh, not for us. Uh, in, unfortunately, it's like yeah, it's like this. So. Um, we lost Newcastle. We lost yesterday, so we need to win to uh, for 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 the especially for the for the future because Man City and Liverpool they, uh, they put uh, a good tempo. Yeah. I know it's not uh, it's not easy to follow uh, Man City or, or Liverpool, but I think we can we we can do it and uh, and uh, we can follow. Um, but for this, yeah, Sunday is very important to yeah to win. Two more questions from me. Um, your most memorable experience as part of the Invinci Invincibles, I mean, <laughs> going unbeaten in a season, yes. 2003, 2004, what was one of those sort of memorable moments? <laughs> um, we know uh, this record is, uh, yeah, it's uh, maybe outstanding because uh, nobody uh, nobody broke the record yeah. even man city even liverpool even chelsea because all of them they are good uh, uh, good team and especially very good uh, players so that's why um, it was first of all is it's very difficult to win the premier league um, i repeat because it's very tough every every game but uh, Win the title in beating, yeah. This is a, a great, uh, a great performance. But for this, of course, you need um, you need a great players on the field. You need the English players. You need the foreigners players. But for me, the the man who was special is uh, Arsene Wenger, because Arsene Wenger is uh, I told you is uh, for me is a genius. Is uh, very is uh, is very smart, and uh, he. He, he built the team to try to win the, the the Premier League, but to try to to win, but in beating yeah. because it was his dream. Yeah. Not for the player because you know when you when you when you when you win the trophy you ha you are very happy. Yeah. But for example, he said no. The season is not finished. We can make uh, we can make history in the Premier League. And look, uh, it was in two thousand four. Uh, the record is still uh, still uh, still here, so that's why it was a it was a good performance. And th and this football on my time and now is is not the same. Yeah. Is the change a little football? They change a little bit. So so that's why it was a great uh, great performance. We're going to take three questions from the audience. So if you have <laughs> a question, 
Um, we have an Arsenal fan in the yes. front here. Yes. I mean, you can see, right? Yeah. There's can, no I, doubt, I, right? There's no doubt. I can see him, yes. <laughs> I can see him, yes. <laughs> Please. Um, do, you, do you think uh, Mikel Arteta will take us to the promised land? The purpose? The promised land. Ah, promise. Yeah. What? But I think, uh, you know, uh, I believe on Mikel Arteta um, since the beginning. Of, of course, uh, at the beginning it was very difficult for him because you see, it, it was the first experience. But uh, I think he is doing very well. He, he chose with a head with the very good uh, uh, players. Um, he's a winner, Mikel Arteta, when he, when he was a, a player. He, you know what? He, he played for to try to to win something, and when he start the, the season, he he have the same yeah same uh, same target. So um, yeah, he's uh, he's happy. Um, he knows they have a very good uh, very good squad with a very good quality, and now yeah, you need to maybe to to prove because when you are a manager or when you are a player, you need to prove every every game, and it's not uh, sometimes it's not easy. It's at the back there. Yeah, yeah go for it. I want to ask you about those games against United uh, back in the day, because I have to look at the past on the United fans. That's all we have now. <laughs> <laughs> um, were those intense as they seemed on TV? Uh, oh, it was a great, great moment and great games. Uh, especially, in, of course, the derby against Tottenham, it's different because, you know, this is the, the derby. The North London Derby, but uh, against Man United it was uh, special, just because uh, both we play for the same target, just for the trophy, and uh, of course it was the war, it was the, the fighting uh, um, on the field. It was very electric uh, when we play at Old Trafford or Highbury, uh, and especially because um, Arsene Wenger he put a big pressure on Ferguson. Just because he said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here in London uh, or in UK, sorry, to put the new revolution," and it changed a lot of things about football when he came to uh, um, to Arsenal in 1996. So that's why Ferguson he said, "Oh, who is the, this guy? Mm -hmm. This guy is crazy," and he adapted on Arsene Wenger. So that's why. Uh, the fighting you were against Man United, it was, uh, yeah, it was special. And you say about the tunnel between uh, Raikin and Vieira, it was very good. <laughs> I, li I like this football. So now it's finished, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Do we have a, a question? Anyone? Last question. Any takers? Uh, it's time for lunch, ah. no? Where, does, where was the hand? Ah, uh, two. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lawrence, of course. Him from the outside, yes. You look at a, you look at a very bitter guy. You don't really look at that. You know, I, I'm a United supporter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, you kind of look at Wenger as a, as a bitter, quiet guy. I have heard from people who know him that he's a wonderfully warm guy. What did, what did the players experience, and how did he instill the winning mentality? He's quiet with the people, but not with the players. He's quiet a little bit with the media. Because the, his role is to uh, to do the good connection with the players, so believe me, every morning, just before the, the training, for him it was very important to talk with the players, one by one, or for the group. For example, he said, "Yeah, I need to talk with the whole defender, or I need to talk with the whole midfielder, or the the strikers, or may, even with the goalkeeper." I think you know. Uh, for, for, for Arsene Wenger, the most important was the communication. Of course, he was the maestro. He was, I, I told you, he, for me, he was the genius because he's very smart. And he said, OK, I'm here in the uh, in UK. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I, I need the English players. So he kept the English players. But for this, I need to put around these players the foreigners players. So he put uh, Dutch, French. Spanish, uh, German, like uh, Jens Lehmann. And he said, yeah, I will mix this. I will put the good 
or to create the good uh, the good team and so that's why we we won the title but in beating because yeah because uh, it's yeah it's it's intelligent and um, i repeat but yeah i don't know about you the communication is very important <laughs> <laughs> So that this is a, it's not a secret. Um, if you want a good relation between players, of course, between, you need between players and the, the, the manager, you need between the captain. And the captain on my time was Patrick Vieira. You know, the relation. The, you, need, um, uh, you need a bridge between two parts. And Vieira was very good. And he was very good with us, for the players, and of course, for, for Arsene Wenger, communication, no secret. It's like this on sport. Or we talk about Arsene Wenger and Arsenal. So he was, he was like this. So it was perfect. And we won. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Robert Perez. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.